So what I see for us is we must have faith rising up in us. A new dimension of faith. Some sort of faith element. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of the Lord. And we're going to start hearing his voice. He's going to tell you simple things, just like bringing that oil. All that does is lose faith. Only God could have it prophesied and have the oil waiting to anoint for the movement ahead because Judah must go first. Judah is not just the praise team singing. Judah is the apostolic war team that knows how to align with the angelic host and knows how to march as an army with angelic hosts bringing sounds that will create the movement. And the Lord says, tonight that is initiated. I have given you a sign just as I sent uh, uh, Samuel to David to give a sign that it was time for a nation to change. I say I've given you a sign tonight that that has now happened. And Judah will rise up and be heard through my people. And this will be known as the Judah movement that changed the course of an entire nation and affected 153 other nations throughout the earth. I say this is beginning to happen now. Let's thank God for that. Now, let me end by saying this because... I need to hear what uh, Dutch is hearing and saying. Uh, I've been waiting to come. I, I wish I could stay the whole time because I gained such strength from places like this. But there's people waiting to break through and there's assignments God's giving. And uh, with that, faith works in place and time. That's Acts 17. So when we're at the right place at the right time, all of a sudden faith is moving. There's no way he could have this dream. And I know there's no way. That happened so long ago, I don't even think he was born when that happened in my life. And so in the midst of this, you know when you're at the right place at the right time. And we are at the right place at the right time here in Chattanooga to move this forward. And so we are coming from one season, eight. All eights biblically are linked with gates. And this is all last year we were coming up to this new gate. Look at the war that has happened since the first week of September in this land. It's because we've gone through the gate. Tell somebody. We're, we've made it through. That's how you have to look at it. And this is what the Lord said to me. He said, the glory is waiting at the gate. Now, uh, I'm excited because Tim has a new book. Tim Sheets has a new book. And it's really about uh, the intervention of heaven and earth working together. But it's really about the presence and the glory. And it's an amazing, amazing book that I read going to Taiwan. And it is so key for right now. There's another book out there that I've written called A Time to Triumph. That will take you through and into the next decade. Now, one of the things that God is putting on my heart, we must understand how this movement is going to change things. And that's where the church gets in trouble if we don't shift and become creative in watching and hearing. Because I think we're at a place where we have to be because we must turn the battle at the gate. See, we've come through the gate, but the battle's raging and every foot of the way, and I hate to be the one to send her up here and say, I had a big thing with somebody last week where they said, you know, you shouldn't be talking about warfare. And I said, listen, that's an old thing. That is an old thing. I wrote a book back in 2000 about the future war of the church. I've written one called God's Unfolding Battle Plan. And I said it was written at the same time where another book was saying we weren't supposed to go to war. And all I said was time will tell. One of them will endure the test. 
of what's going to happen. And the next two and a half years, you are being trained. Throw your hands up and just shake them. You're being, your hands are being trained for war, machete war. And I'm not talking about with a... I'm talking about with the word and with power and being able to take the headship of Satan off that is ruling and rising and moving forward. And yet we're moving from this battle to this is what it looks like. That is what the year ahead. And in Hebrew, all of these just, it's circular in time. Dutch teaches on it. Better than I live it out practically because you're moving from the gate into this level of harvest vineyard ahead. And what has been forming, and it's linked, nine is always linked biblically with structure. And it's linked with uh, uh, actually coming in and you see the structure that God has been forming starts pouring out. All of a sudden, the wine, just look at you as a wineskin and tell somebody next to you, get ready, you're going to pour things out. <laughs> but the outpouring of the wine is headed into new fields of harvest. Now let me end by showing you See, this is what this year looks like. It's the first year of this decade where the year surrounds the season. That in the middle is the season of 70 in Hebrew, which it's ayan, which God sees. It's about breaking out of captivity 70 years. All 70s is about captivity breaking. And so we're in a season of 70, and God is watching how we break out of captivity. But that is nine. Now, this is interesting. Now, let's go back to our dream and what I shared with you. Nine means, it's Tate, it means a wound. It means this year, what we've been pressing toward comes to birth. Look at somebody and say, the movement is birthed and moving. But nine in Hebrew, it's funny because one word has different meanings and numbers have pictures and in it, nine is also the serpent. And therefore what it says is the serpent for is ready to take out the new birth. Now, let me say to you, if we haven't witnessed that in the last eight weeks, you cannot see it. You need to, we need to get you fixed. <laughs> because the serpent will try to take out the birthing that comes forth. It's Revelation chapter 12. And the accuser rises up and uses the dragon to say, this thing that's coming to birth must be stopped. Now we have seen that. And it has, and let me tell you something, I am not real political, people who know me, but I look at that and say, I wouldn't have treated a dog like that publicly, and God will judge that. I don't say that often. Whatever was the root source of that, you watch out because it won't be a machete coming after you. The axe of God is about to cut you down. And somebody needs to say it. Humans shouldn't be treated that way. And so, in the midst of this, we are in a different... And I say that with total love. <laughs> I'm fine with the, all of it. I can't think of one... Pr but I'm telling you, when God finds that snake, you better... You, let me tell you, there's heads coming off. We have already heard it tonight. This man couldn't have shared... I couldn't have been in a better place for this man to share this. Heads are coming off of the snakes. Just say it out loud. <laughs>